you'll want to start off by getting this black foam board that came from Dollar Tree. And using this template, I will post in the description above. I'm just putting the template right over the foam board and just tracing that out. And then I'll be using a sharp box cutter. Please be careful when doing this. Um, you just want to start to cut that foam board wherever you trace that template down. So I did this and I made nine cutouts total. Next, we're going to start using some chalk paint. So this one, I'm using Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Maui Sand. And you don't have to put this to perfection. As you can tell, I left a little bit of that black still kind of peeking through. But this did only take one coat. And you want to allow that to completely dry before moving on. When using foam board, very important, you want to make sure that you use a low temperature heat gun if you are going to be using that to help the paint dry faster. Once those are completely dry, now I'm using this Waverly chalk paint in the color Nimbus. This is just a very light gray color. And I'm just using a cut up sponge that came from Dollar Tree. And I'm just putting a very small amount of the chalk paint on my sponge. And I just begin dabbing that all throughout the cut up foam board. And to prevent seeing those sponge squares, you could also lightly brush the sponge throughout the foam board as well. And then you want to just put those all aside to let those dry. I then got this wooden ring. It measures at about 11 inches. I got this off of Amazon. I'm just using those same colors that I used on the cut up foam board. So that was the folk art chalk paint and Maui sand and then the Nimbus from Waverly using that cut up sponge. Now let's go back to that foam board. So I'm going to make these look a little bit more weathered and rustic. So I'm using some Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm just putting this all around the edges. You could use a paintbrush to blend the Antique Wax. I like to use both my fingers to blend and also the paintbrush. So that is completely up to you how you want to blend. But have fun while doing this step. It does not have to be perfect. I just kind of went around the edges and then occasionally I would just kind of dab my paintbrush and made some rounder sections to make it look like it was a larger rust surface. Now let's start hot gluing this all together. So again, I'm just using some hot glue and I'm just placing that directly onto the wooden circle and I'm just putting those cut up foam right on top of it. And for the round piece in the center, I just cut up another piece of foam board and just hot glued that right into the center. And there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.